Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Spring Blossom Festival in Monster Hunter World. So, we've got quite a few new things to go on here. Now, if you guys are curious about the new great sword that was released, there is a link in the top right corner, and check that out for the information on the new amazing great sword. It is the best one you can get in Monster Hunter World right now. We also have a new low rank armor set that kind of looks pretty interesting, and you have to do a challenge quest for it. So, the challenge quest that you need to do to collect this armor is the Vespoid Infestation. Now, as all other challenge quests, you do have to select a specific weapon to do this. Now, unfortunately, this is skilled for, um, you know, obviously for multiplayer, but there are a couple things about this that makes it pretty easy. Basically, you can select whichever weapon that you want. I would highly recommend maybe getting something with a little bit of reach to it, so I'm probably just going to use the Proto Commission Axe for this. And uh, let's go ahead and get into here, shall we? Nice thing about this quest is you only have to slay the Vespoids. There is a stupid Pookie Pookie in here, but you actually don't have to kill the Pookie Pookie. I don't even know if you can. I fought this a little while ago, and I tried to kill the Pookie Pookie, and it was just taking forever. So I don't even know if you can kill it. Uh, but I highly recommend just getting some Ballista ammo and just obliterating as many bugs as you can with the Ballista before the stupid Pookie Pookie comes to get you, because it'll make it super duper easy. And there we go. So, once you kill all the Vespoids, you don't even have to mess with the Pookie Pookie, but using the Ballista is gonna be the fastest way to do it. If you just flash the Pookie Pookie and use the Ballista, you'll be golden. So the rewards for this are pretty straightforward. Every time you beat this, you will get Spring Insect Field Guides, which you'll need to create the armor. Now, if you get Alpha Rank, you'll get three. If you get Beta, you'll get two. And obviously, if you get Charlie, you'll get one. So make sure to try and get the best that you can, so that way you don't have to do this multiple times. And then we can go ahead and go to the Armory and forge our new equipment. So once you've got all of your Spring Blossom Field Guides, you can go ahead and go to the armory and you're gonna actually need to forge low rank equipment and you'll find it down here at the bottom. So we do have a new low rank on blossom gear here. Let's go ahead and equip all of that, which actually, oh, it looks kind of cool on the female, but this is actually what we just got, which is the queen beetle armor, which I don't know. It's interesting to say the least. Uh, the stats on here, we've got stun resistance, health boost, critical eye, Defense Boost, and Marathon Runner. So all in all, really not, not terrible for low rank armor, although it's not the best, but it's it's cool. It's definitely, a, just collect it, you know? It might not ever come back. You might not ever be able to get this again. So I'm actually going to go ahead and craft all of this here. Maybe I'll do some Spring Blossom challenges where we have to actually just use the Spring Blossom event armor and nothing else and just defeat like crazy high level things. I don't know. I think that would be a lot of fun. Let's actually see what colors can be changed on this before I go crazy crafting it all up. There we go. Can we, can we look? Maybe? No? Okay. Huh. So that's interesting. You actually cannot change any of the colors on this armor. So I was trying to figure out why it wouldn't work, and then I just clicked on another piece of armor and it let me go into the chain stuff. You'll see here uh, we can't change the, uh, the colors of this armor. So that's kind of unfortunate. It would have been nice to to be able to mess around with it a little bit. But anyways, that is how you get the Queen Beetle Armor. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Definitely make sure to use the Ballista. It's super duper easy. Don't even bother fighting the Pookie Pookie. Uh, and anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video and or found it useful, don't forget to share support and smash that like button. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.